As service providers, we have an obligation to our customers to make sure that when we leave the site, because it's probably going to be an entire year until we get back there, that we need to make sure that certain components are clean. This video goes through the required cleaning of system components, including the effluent screen or filter. If that is left unclean, in many cases, we might end up with problems within that 12-month period. So anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and hopefully you enjoy this video. So Cass is pulling the bio vault and floats and pump out of the system. We've got another video that shows that. But one of the points I want to make here with this video is that um, it's not really an option. I mean, obviously, you can decide not to clean them and not to do the maintenance, but that's part of what the customer's paying for. So we make it a point to clean the pump screen, the effluent screen, the floats, spray everything down every time so we don't uh, miss anything. I've had situations where I've had O&M providers go out and do maintenance. They didn't clean the effluent screen or the bio vault screen. And a couple months later, I start getting a, a bio vault plug alarm on the Vericom system, which basically means that that screen needs to be clean. That's the screen that's coming out now. Um, Cass is going to take that over to the septic tank side. That one's pretty, pretty dirty, not terrible, but it's got some stuff on it. Um, the reason Cass lays the pump and floats down in the pot itself is because he doesn't want to lay that on somebody's yard. Some people uh, get a little sketchy with that. So we like to make sure that people are happy with us not laying that stuff right in the middle of the yard. So we're going to spray all this stuff off and clean it after Cass cleans the screen. Again, go to the screen cleaning video for demonstration of that because we've already got that covered.